Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 100 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. I know everybody wants like a special episode 100, but uh, it's just going to be a standard episode. But I'm very excited because it marks the 100th episode, and that's a magic number in our base 10 counting system. So hooray! Uh, today's episode, we're going to continue playing with uh, Ars Nouveau, checking out the cool uh, stuff that you can do. We're going to play with a couple more of the pets that you can make that can do things for you. Um, I need to find if there's something I need to do that would be useful to have these pets do, right? Like, we've all, we're on episode 100. We've automated a lot of things thus far with lots of other mods and lots of other mechanics, right? But if I can come up with something cool to do with these pets, I will. I will, right? But for now, I just want to check them out, see what they can do. And then we have a lot of other things to check out in Ars Nouveau just to see what other kinds of cool stuff exists in this mod. So without further ado, let's get started. I want to check out the uh, the Whelp and the Wixie. So the Wixie does auto crafting for you. The Whelp does automatic spell casting. Let's look at the Whelp. Uh, so to look at the Whelp, we're going to need uh, the, the spell table crafter thingy, right? Uh, from Ars. So there's some kind of table that will make spells for us. So there's also blank parchment that we're gonna need, which, ah, you actually, need, you need the mana fibers. All right, cool, blank parchment. Let's get like a lot of paper because I know we have a lot of sugar cane and I really shouldn't have that little much problem with paper. So uh, yeah, oh, what's this? This is the, oh, item scroll of deny. Okay, allow and deny. Oh, neat, okay, so that's how you make those. I just never saw their recipes before. Uh, let's turn you guys into more mana fiber, by the way, because this is now being farmed automatically over at our farm as of last episode. So I'm assuming this is how we're going to get our our, our whelps to do spell casting for us, which is neat. Definitely interested in trying that out. I'm gonna put my carbuncle charm away for the time being because, you know, just because, because I can. Uh, and then probably also my building gadget and a couple other things just to free up inventory space because I know that I'm going to need it. I want the Dominion one though. I want to hang on to that dude. Uh, what else do we need from ours? The spell table. So we can do that spell parchmenty stuff, right? Uh, ours table? Scribes table. That's it. Scribes table. Cool. All right. Let's put that outside with the rest of our ours stuff. Uh, at some point, I really need to consider, you know, whatever uh so i think we, what we do is we put the parchment on there and then we have to cast or we have to click on the spell book with whatever spell we want the whelp to cast uh so if we take a look at the whelps page right starting automation whelps um whelps are fragile we should defend them um whelps can cast spells that begin with touch or projectile you may give them a spell that is written on spell parchment they will only target blocks surrounding their crystal. Spell casting will consume mana from jars that are in the vicinity of the summoning crystal. Uh, whelps will only cast a spell in every spell effect will do something. Harvests will only cast on trees or fully grown crops or grow on crops that are not fully grown. Cool. All right. They can't pick up blocks on their own. They may store items in chests that are next to their summoning crystal. So we definitely need a summoning crystal too. Uh, let's get ready for that. Because I definitely want to try this out. Because it looks neat. I just think it looks cool, right? So we need a mana gem block. Okay. And then we need two diamonds, two gold. And four arcane stone. One, two, three, four, and then two of you, and then two of you, and the block, and that will be your summoning stone. Nice. Cool. All right, so now let's do this. Let's learn two spells. Let's, just for the sake of argument, let's say we wanted to make a tree farm out of these guys. So if we had the Glyph of Grow, that's going to need Marvelous Clay. That is your tier two clay. All right, so let's definitely get some of that stuff because we want to check out tier two spells today anyway, right? So might as well. So we'll just get a handful of tier two spell materials. And for grow, we need a bone block, not a problem. And then it should be as simple as doing this and this. Boom. And that's going to be your tier two spell. Our first one. Nice. We unlocked Grow. Um, so here, let's get a 
crafting. Let's do let's do number ten for the things we're going to teach our spell parchment things. So I want you to be touch, grow, create. So now any any block we touch will grow. Neat with mana. Awesome. Haha! -ha, I like it. That's cool. So now I want to come over here and click this onto the parchment. Ha! -ha that is neat. I like that. Did it work? I can't tell. I might have to shift click it. Right? Isn't that isn't that what we do? Um, you may also write a specific spell to spell parchment, which is used in teaching magical servants how to cast spells. To do this, place a spell parchment on the table. Then, with your spell book in hand, change your spell book to your desired spell as if you were going to cast it. Then, use the book on the table while sneaking. Your parchment will now contain the spell of that recipe. I guess it doesn't change the, the blank parchment, right? Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Am I doing this wrong? Oh, oh, blank parchment with mana gems becomes spell parchment. There's your problem. There's your problem. So what we need to do is turn this into spell parchment. Got it. I think, I think by George, I think I've got it. So then you, and then shift right click you, spell inscribed. Now we're cooking, touch grow, perfect. All right, that's much better. So yeah, let's just like real quick, just like proof of concept, figure out how this thing works, right? So I think uh, this, oh, look at that, fancy. Should we sleep through the night for this bit? Probably, probably. We'll do a little bit of sleeping through the night. Okay, so fancy times right here, looking good. So he'll only use his spells, the whelp, um, on blocks adjacent to the spell crystal, it said, right? So let's get some saplings. Um, and what I might also want to do is harvest. Is that is that a spell? Glyph harvest? Yeah, that's magic clay and an iron hoe. So let's add that to the to-do list. Because I want this one too. Magic clay, iron hoe, give me harvest. Because I think harvest will cut down an entire tree, if I'm not mistaken. And we can check that in our tier one spells. Harvest. When used on grown crops, the spell can obtain the fully grown product without destroying the plant. Okay. I'm assuming that works on trees. I might be wrong. Cut? No, that shears entities. Yeah, we'll find out. I feel like I feel like that's what's up. So like, how about touch harvest create? Let's go try this on a tree. See if I'm correct about my theory. Nope, that is not right at all. Wasn't there something for cutting down trees? Uh, wasn't there something for cutting down trees? That's shears. Let's see. Let me let me just poke around in this book for a sec. This might be what I'm looking for. Fell. It's a tier two. Harvest entire trees, mushrooms, cactus, and other vegetation can be amplified with amplified to break materials of higher hardness. AOE will increase the number of blocks that may be broken at one time. Uh, so let's get a diamond axe and marvelous clay here. That's what I'm looking for. Diamond axe and marvelous clay. Yes. And marvelous clay. Boop, boop. And we might want the AoE augment, which is marvelous clay and a firework star. How do you make those again? It's like paper and gunpowder or something. All right, it was, uh, I just did a gunpowder and red dye. That seems to have worked. So that should give me the AoE ability. So we'll see how this works out for us, right? So now I can come in here and I can say instead of harvest, I want chop. Didn't I get chop? Where's chop? There he is. Or fell. Fell it's called. Right? So instead of harvest, I want fell. Create that spell. And this is a touch. 
So I have to click on the thing. I could make it projectile, but I want touch for this. Oh, hello. That's beautiful. Sweet. So now if I add AOE to this, does that mean he doesn't have a problem cutting down bigger, bigger trees? Like this one shouldn't... Oh, hello. Let's add even more AOEs to them. Not bad. Not enough mana. So I don't want to go too crazy on the AOE. I'll go with three of them and we'll see if that's good enough. So this is going to be the other spell parchment. So that's touch grow. This is going to be touch fell. And that'll be cool, right? So we'll put the blank parchment on the table. And then we'll shift click spell inscribed, right? So now we've got touch fell, AOE, 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 touch grow. Now I bet I can amplify touch grow to make it grow like instantly, but we'll get there. We'll get there. I do like how easy it is to make the spells though. Like I really like just click, 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 and then boom, you have a spell. Like once you've crafted the spell component thing, obviously. Um, so let's plop that there, right? And we want the whelp charm. And I think I click him onto this guy. Hey, little buddy. And then you can have touch grow. Spell set. And then I need a, a jar, a mana jar. Because he needs mana in order to do his stuff. Cool. Go. Make it so. Touch grow. Do thing. Casting touch grow using nothing. Strict mode on. Okay. Do I have to like bind him to the to something or something? Use a whelp charm on a summoning crystal. Um, they'll only target blocks surrounding their crystal. Spell casting will consume mana from jars that are in the vicinity of the summoning crystal. Whelps will only cast a spell if every spell effect will do something. It will. Yeah. I wonder if I wonder if he doesn't recognize the sapling as needing to be to be having something done to it. I don't know. We'll see. Now what I could do is I could grow him. Not enough mana. That's okay. Hello, little friend. Now, will you, if I give you the touch fell... Oh, hey, he did it. Well, that was cool. That was cool. So he did the touch fell. He just didn't recognize the sapling as needing to be grown. Right? Nice. Good job, little buddy. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Now, can we make another... I might want more whelps, but can we make them place... I think we can, right? Because I bet I could make a tree farm out of this guy. Do we need a tree farm? No. Will it be fun to set up? Yes. I'm going to get a few more whelp components, and we'll be right back. Let me talk to you about how much I like this new feeding mechanic. Oh, yes. Very yes. That is what's up. Uh, so that'll be cool, right? So we've got the, that. So I should now have more. There they are, Wixie. Wixie shards. No, wait, I wanted whelp. Yeah, Wixie does the crafting. Okay, sorry, I got the wrong one. I wanted whelp. Yeah, let me get more of these. These are the eggs with all, ugh, I have to make more novice spell books. I think I might just teach that one. All right, making more of these bad boys. Ta-da! Not too bad. I bet this is automatable, too. I bet I could do something to make this automatable, if I, you know, so needed. So you're going to chop the trees, right? So there's a spell for placing blocks, isn't there? Wasn't there a spell for placing blocks? I forget what tier it was in. 
tier one spells. Wasn't there like a place? Place block. Places blocks from caster's inventory. If a player is casting a spell, this spell will place blocks from the hot bar first. Cool. So I need a dispenser. And some magic clay. Easy peasy. And then let's learn how the whelps interact with inventories, right? Cool. So now I learned to place block. So I think I'm going to create a spell called touch place block. Uh, we'll make you number nine. Touch place block. Create. Now, can I overwrite the touch grow? Let's find out. I'm hoping I can. Spell inscribed. Sweet, touch place block, cool. And I, 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 since that whelp already knows touch fell AOE, then I don't need this one anymore, but I'll hang on to it just in case, for the time being at least. Cool, so now you will place blocks. Now what did it say in the book about these guys placing blocks, right? So whelp charm, um, cannot pick up blocks, they may store items in chests that are next to the summon crystal using the item pickup spell. Conversely, whelps may place blocks and interact with the world using items. You may give an item or block to the whelp, and it will use the item directly from the chest adjacent to the summoning crystal. Use the spell on a whelp to get your charm back. Aha! Aha! So if I were to put a chest next to this guy... So here's the question though, how does he know what items he's allowed to take out of the chest? I might need to do this item frame thing, but so let's make another whelp, right? Here, boop, cool. So he's casting nothing, see in the top left, this guy's casting touch, fell, AOE, AOE, right? So let's do place block. You who's doing nothing now will place blocks, spell set. If I put saplings in here, he should fly over and do the thing. See? Oak sapling. Right there, chief. Do it. Do the thing. Touch, place block. Do it. They're looking at me very confused. You're adorable, but you should probably be doing work. Do work. Let me try handing him the sapling. So you're the place block guy. This whelp will use oak sapling and spells if this item is in a summoning crystal chest. Oh, I have to click him with the sapling first. Yes. Placing oak sapling. Nice. Okay, cool. Nice. He's placing them. Good work, sir. Well done. Proud of you. Now, we ran out of mana, which is okay. We can replace you guys. I wonder if I can set it up. So I wonder if he'll get mana... <clears throat> yeah. Okay. That's cool. That's looking good. So that means that he'll only play saplings. So, and he should also wind up. So let's see. Where's my grow? Is this grow? I forget now. This might be grow. I didn't name these because they were supposed to be temporary. Hello? And chop. So he didn't put it in the chest. I thought he would put it in the adjacent chest. Let me try that again and not be so nearby. Now is he like gathering the items? Doesn't seem to be. I think I might need another one with pickup. I might need another one with pickup. But that's pretty neat. I like that. Should we try it similarly with a with a spell turret? I think that would be cool. Let's try this with a spell turret as well and see the comparison between the spell turret and the whelp. So let's get our dispel ready. Sorry, friends. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah. So those guys are super neat. I gotta, I gotta toy with them a little bit for sure. 
to see. I mean, I'm sure there's something we can come up with to do with them, right? Um, at some point. But let's check out the turret now. So the spell turret needs one of these. A dispenser. Let me get all the stuff and get ready to craft it. Okay, so I need this guy. I'm gonna make an extra one of them just because I would like to learn this. Even if you're not gonna use it as a spell effect, you should remember that you get um, more mana and regen for doing this, right? So the spell turret needs Quartz, Mana Gem, Blaze Rod. Quartz, Mana Gem, Block, and Blaze Rod. Three gold. And then the dispenser in here, and that'll be your spell turret. So let's make sure we understand how these work too. So spell turrets, remember, um, can be used to cast spells when given a redstone signal, functioning like a dispenser. Turrets will accept spells that use touch and projectile. Spells may be set using an inscribed piece of spell parchment. In order to cast spells, turrets will draw mana from nearby jars. Turrets may use item pickup and place block as long as an inventory is placed adjacent to this block. Cool. Uh, turrets can provide compact and efficient automation. Examples include configurable redstone clocks, one block tree farm or chop farms, rapid smelting with fortune or mob farms with looting. Well, that's cool. So one block tree or chop farms. That would be neat. Let's check that out, right? So instead of that, I wonder if I can do place block. What if I had a complex spell? Um, so for number nine here, place block. What if I did place touch place block? Let's start it with basic and then we'll go from there. How's that sound? So if I were to place my spell turret, which I didn't take out of my crafter, here, oh, that's cool. And then I told you to do place block, boop, spell set. Now do I have to click you with the sapling still or what? I guess we'll find out. Do you have enough mana still? You do. Man, look at that model. That's just so nice. Fancy. Casting touch place block. Oh, remember you need a redstone signal, right? So let's get a button of some kind. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll probably wind up doing a clock or something, right? So on redstone signal, he will place, that's cool. Okay. Uh, so now, should we do, t I'm going to grow it with my own spell book. And then we're going to test something here, right? Uh, so you can be touch grow. Cool. And then you can now get touch fell AOE. Aha! Beautiful. Okay. So now, here's a thing. Can we make this a little bit more complex? A little bit more complex. So instead of doing touch fell, like what I'm going to do, let's do touch place block, touch grow, with a couple amplifies, and then we'll do touch fell, touch, actually that might be enough for now. Bing. So now we've got a multi-step spell on here. Let's see what that does, right? That could be cool. Hmm. I'm not sure that he likes that. I might need to do a delay. I might need to add a delay to it, which means I have to learn delay. Uh, so a redstone repeater. Just for funds.
Okay. So now to add that, so I want a place block and then have a delay. Right? Um, no duplicate cast methods are allowed. Oh, really? Maybe that's why? Delay. So place block, then delay. And then we want a grow with a couple amplifies. And then we're going to want another delay and then chop or fell or harvest or whatever it is. Yeah, that's it. That could be cool. All right, so that's no longer yelling at me. So let's say that I had a sapling on my hot bar. Are you going to be cool about this? I mean, sort of, yes. Let's try that again. I might need more amplifies. Amplify, delay, fell. We'll try and amplify it as much as possible. I don't know if amplify makes the bone mealing effect as good, but maybe it's worth a try. I'm just messing with it at this point, right? See what it does. Um, do I still have a regular grow? I do. Okay, sweet. So it was number nine, that was the fanciness. Well, let's try it, and what I'll do is see if this works. Spell inscribed. It's very possible that this will work. It's very possible that it won't. Okay. So touch, place, touch, grow with a bunch of amplifies. And then delay and fell. Boop. Now he's replaced. So now let's see if you want to work. Neat. Sweet, that's kind of cool. And I bet if I threw pickup on there instead of one of those amplifies, that would be even better. So let's do... Let's do fell. And then delay, delay pickup. Where's pickup? Did I not learn pickup yet? I might not learn pickup yet. Hopper. Hopper makes sense. There you are. Do 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 do. So I'm going to remove those two and then we'll do Delay, fell, delay, item pickup. Cool. And sweet. That was neat. Boop. Let's try this now. So now that's your job. So he should do it all, right? So he'll place a block if it's not there. He'll do a grow. And then if there's something to break, he will. If there's something to pick up, he will. So let me turn off my magnet for a minute just to just to try this out. So there's something to place. That's good. He'll bone meal it. He'll break it. And then he'll pick up it. He should be doing pick up. I don't see him doing pick up. And that's the only thing that ain't working at the moment. I might need more AOEs. Especially for the fell, because I'm a little bit annoyed about that. That doesn't look like it needed an AOE for that fell. Or at least it shouldn't have. I might get rid of some of the delays, too. So let's try this spell. It'll be place block, grow with one amplify, fell with two AOEs, item pick up with two AOEs. Boop. 
spell set. You guys all go in here now. And let's see if you want to behave. I can only assume that you're... Hello. That actually worked! That actually worked! The delays made it hard to see, but it actually worked. Did you see that? Whoa, that's awesome. It was like instant. It's literally one tick. He grows, chops, and collects all in one tick. That is cool. Nice. Now, if I got rid of the grow mechanic, it would just grow passively, and we could have like a redstone pulse doing this every now and then. But that's pretty neat. All we have to do is find a way to generate this mana, which... Frankly, we can do with just a lava thing, right? And that would work. Like, there's a few ways to make that mana run passively. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. That is cool. Yeah, without the delays, that's the key. All right, I'm going to call that a good wrapping up point for the episode. That is cool beans right there. We're going to have to figure out, uh, you know... Some, some cool things to do with this. I really do. I need to figure out something cool to do with this. This is always the problem. Like, this late in the series, starting with a new mod, I'm like, I've already automated most of the things I want to automate. Like, we already have a really reliable tree farm, right? So I have to find something that I haven't already automated that I need, and then I'm like, hey, this is the solution. So I'll figure it out. But that's wrapping up point for episode 100. So let me go ahead and set up a world download for you guys. If you want to play with this stuff, you absolutely can, of course. And we'll come back next episode and probably continue playing with Ars Nouveau a bit because I'm having a lot of fun with it, in case you couldn't tell. And the other thing we'll do is just play more with that and probably get into some other mods at some point in the future. There's still a lot of mods we haven't even touched yet, so definitely some cool, cool stuff to see. Uh, but like I said, wrapping up point. Double Twice signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you're enjoying the series because it's episode 100. Uh, so if you're still watching, I can only assume that things are going well enough that you're liking it, but I hope you are. I really do. And, uh, let me know in the comments, you know, let's celebrate episode 100 a little bit. Let me know what you guys think of the series so far, what you'd like to see. If there's any like challenges or automations you'd like to see me do, feel free to let me know and I'll see what I can come up with. All right, guys, take it easy.